Hello, my great and beautiful ones. We welcome you once again to our today's episode of this program. We are the Nation Voice, and today we have two major news on our table, which we shall be revealing to you even in the course of the program. The very first one here is the one that concerns Abakiari, the self acclaimed Super Cup. And the title of this one says, 8 million bribe. I acted as debt collector for Hush Puppy, says Abakiari. All right. After that very one, we also have another one again, which we shall be visiting even in the course of the program. And the title of this one says, Breaking, Ambazonians endorses IPOP Ghost Town Order as Southeast Town Steel for Namde Kano. All right, before we go ahead to review the content of this news, in case today is the first day that you are coming across us on this platform, we say you are highly welcome. Please do not forget to do us a favor by hitting on that subscribe button and also the little bell by each side so that whenever we bring a new update, it will come to you straight away. And as you do so, God Almighty will bless you richly in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Without wasting much of your time, let us go straight and see what we have here. Abba Kiari on Tuesday denied collecting bribes from Remo Abbas popularly known as Hush Puppy to detain a gang member, Chibuzo Vincent, saying the notorious fraudster only sent him receipts of 8 million naira transaction to help him recover a loan. Mr. Kiari's comment marked a stark breakthrough from his initial defense following his indictment by the United States. The police chief had initially claimed in a Facebook statement on July 29th that he had no ties to Hush Puppy, saying the co-artist only sent him 300,000 Naira to help him purchase native wares. But following People's Gazette's report of how he collected 8 million Naira from Hush Puppy, Mr. Kiari edited his Facebook post on Tuesday night and changed his story as he came under widespread public radical and police administrative action. He said the 8 million naira reported by the People Gazette, which was subsequently reported by other media outlets, was for him to collect as an outstanding debt owned to Osh Poppy and not as a bribe for him to hold Chibuzo for the scamming of Qatari business person to pull through as alleged by the FBI in court filings. Nobody demanded or collected any money from Abbas Hush Puppy. He can be interviewed publicly in the presence of world media by the people holding him to confirm this. He also called for another case in June 2020 and complained about financial transaction with a second person whom he said his friend sent 8 million naira to and pleaded for his friend's money to be recovered. He sent transaction slips and other evidences to prove their case against the person. All this can be verified from the hush puppy since he is still in custody. And it can be verified from person who collected the 8 million naira from hush puppy's friend whom they complained about is alive and is in Nigeria. Generally, whatever investigation steps tactics that is being taken in most cases, especially on the parties, in this type of case from January to June is not for public consumption. This is the true story, Mr. Kiari said. Barely four hours after changing his story, Mr. Kiari deleted the entire post from his Facebook page. He did not return the People's Gazette's request for comment about his decision to take down the statement. All right, my great and beautiful ones, that is it from the news that we are receiving as an update from Abba Kiari, how he went to delete the transaction comment between him and Hush Puppy. He also went further to state that he collected money on behalf of Hush Puppy as a debt, not as a bribe. <laughs> What an entertaining statement to see a deputy police commissioner eventually becoming an era boy to hush puppy or in the name of money. But we are still assuring Abakiari that he can run, but he cannot hide. For all that he did to all Nigerians, the killing and also the extortion, 
it is time for him to feel the pain as well. We believe on FBI and also International Interpol. They are not the people of which you can joke with. Yes, you can do anyhow in this country, Nigeria, but be rest assured that that of which you sow, you are going to reap in full. All right, my great and beautiful ones, we are going to leave you to share your opinion with us on the comment section, even as we move down to another news. And moving on again, we have this very message that we are receiving from Abazonia boys, which is the people of the Southern Cameroon, where they sent a message to endorse IPOP sit at home order. And the title of this one says breaking. Abazonians endorses IPOP ghost town order. A southeast stands still for Namdi Kano. All right, we are just going to do a little bit of the reading. Then we will conclude together in the comment session. Dr. Cho Yaba, the leader of the Abazonia Liberation War, has ordered the closure of all borders between Biafra and Abazonia in support of Mazinam de Kano, the leader of indigenous people of Biafra, who was kidnapped from Kenya and is currently illegally detained in the custody of the Nigerian Secret State Department, also known as BSS. Dr. Cho Yaba's careful observation and interest in Mazinam de Kano's condition was noted in a post he made on Tuesday afternoon, which was obtained by ECN. Biafra locks down on Monday, August 9th. All Abazonians in Biafra must stay at home. All borders between Amba and Biafra are closed. This comes after IPOP launched a weekly lockdown on Mondays in order to hasten the release of their leader, Mazinam de Kano. All right, my great and beautiful ones, that is it from the news that we are receiving from Abazonia boys, where they sent to endorse IPOP Ghost Town Order as Southeast Town Steel for Namde Kano. And before we leave you all to share your opinion with us on the comment section, I believe that this is the time for every freedom fighter to show solidarity to the people of the Southeast, most especially the IPO. A time like this, our hand needs to be on the desk. It doesn't matter who this matter really concerns. Honestly, if you have ever been oppressed, you will understand what it takes for someone to struggle for freedom. Yes, this is the time for all of us to put our heads together in a collective idea to make sure that, yes, we use everything that we have to negotiate for the release of Namde Kano. And once again, we just want to say a big kudos to Abazonia boys that came out with this very idea. And we are still looking forward to all Nigerians, where many Nigerians, to also lift up their voices and also support for this very cause as well. All right, we are going to leave you now to share your opinion with us on the comment section. And before then, in case today is the first day that you are coming across us on this platform, we say you are highly welcome. Please do not forget to do us a favor by hitting on that red subscribe button and also the little bell by each side so that whenever we bring a new update, it will come to you straight away. And as you do so, God Almighty will bless you richly in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. And you that is already a part of this great family that is helping us to share these brokers whenever we make them, God Almighty will bless you. Your effort towards us on this platform, we are not taking it for granted at all. We really appreciate you. Please do not forget to help us share this very one so that you can as well get to our brothers and sisters all over the world because we believe in one thing that information is power. And as you do so, God Almighty will bless you richly. We'd like to draw the conclusion of this program here. We will see you again in our next broadcast. Remember, we love you all. Bye-bye.